Hello guys, my name is Austin. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The last few episodes we've been working on the Civil War. We are a member of the Imperial Legion. After last episode, I realized that the Civil War is a waste of potential. It's not as fun as I thought it would be. And it's kind of really disappointing. I feel like there was so much potential with the Civil War. Because I'm not saying it's the second most fun, but it's probably the second most important quest line behind the main quest line if you're like like role playing Skyrim or whatever like I feel like it's the one that affects Skyrim the most besides the dragons like Mirak and Dawnguard and other things like that affect the citizens of Skyrim but not as much as the civil war like think about it if there's a civil war in a country you live in it's a pretty big deal and I feel like the civil war was wasted potential there's a total of five quests left one of them, I don't know what we're doing. Three of them are forts, and one of them is capturing Windhelm. We will be completing the Civil War in this video, which means we did the whole thing in three episodes, which, if it was more fun, I would have stretched it out longer. But it's not fun. It's just not fun. Like, I, I'm not trying to complain and be that guy. The next episode, we're going to be working on some side quests. Just one episode, side quests. And then we're going to spend a few episodes on Hearthfire, and then we will be starting another quest line that will hopefully be more fun and longer. But we have another quest. This one has kind of been going on for a long time, Rectification of Skyrim. But we're going to Winterhold Hold. We took, we saved Whiterun in the previous video, and we also helped capture again for the Pale. In the East Empire Company. Gonna have them import me some of that aged breath and cheese. Perfect. So where do we have to go for Winterhold? I've been fast traveling around a lot. Right here. To the Imperial Camp. I will see you guys when we get there. So we have arrived at the Winterhold Hold Legion Camp. I don't know what it's actually called. Winterhold Imperial Camp. Talk to Legate Ritka. Something the general and I have our disagreements. Reporting for duty. Your objective is Fort Kostov. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. Okay. They won't be this one we have to inside. rescue from fort. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Nothing I can't handle. Luck, I thought it was going to say consider it done, so it threw me off. So we have to rescue people from a fort. From my experience, we just pretty much go in and kill a lot of people. Nothing too crazy about it. I will see you guys when I actually get to the fort. I arrived at the fort. Our objective is to take over the fort. And I'll show a little bit of it, but I've just found that it's very repetitive, very boring. And, like, I'm not trying to complain, but, like, you literally just go in and take out, like, 25 people. It's like nothing we haven't already done in Skyrim, like, legitimately. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Like, like we'll take out... If I can actually hit... Is it Hadvar? Hold up a minute. Hadvar is the one in Helgen that was like... Captain, he's not on the list. What should I do? Partially screw him for trying to execute us, but he was just following orders. But it's cool that he's in here. I'm going to try to talk to him after. It doesn't say anything about it on here. We have to take out these guys. That in and of itself is cooler than anything that happened in the previous video. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, defending White Run was cool, but it had way more potential. Is he? I don't know why he wants. He's marked. I don't want to kill him. And I don't think I'm supposed to. But yeah, pretty much like you look like I'll show this fort, but the rest of the fort I'll probably cut some of them out. Just cause that like quite frankly, it's just not exciting. Like, it's just not. I know I'm not looting all these guys either, I understand that, but right now my main concern is just kind of getting this done. Benor is pretty much a member of Oh That was an accident. I did not mean to kill Benor, and I'm gonna load back an accident. <laughs> I was going to say, Benor is pretty much a member of the Legion, like he's been helping us. Okay, so I'm back. Benor is alive. I've took out most of them on the outside. I have not went inside yet. Kind of the same situation as we were just a second ago. 
chop that lady's head off. Clean off. Can I talk to Hadvar? Does he say anything? I didn't talk to him after Helgen because I sided with Rayloff. There's more of them somewhere around here. I, I do like that. I wonder if the Stormcloaks tie Rayloff into it, though. Follow me. Lead the way. Okay. So he's kind of like a little follower, but you can actually have both of them right now. Interesting. So we're going into the prison. We're trying to find some Imperials that were captured. And we're going to bring them back to safety and also kind of capture this fort, which somehow means we fully control Wintermold. I'll loot some things. I'm not going to like deep dive it because right now my gold is at 630,000. So like I don't necessarily need the money, you know, but I'm not going to pass up loot either. I don't necessarily know what I'm looking for. That's just another way out, I guess. Excuse me, do not block me in, please. Why is he my objective? That's just inconvenient. Like, that doesn't help me at all. Any Imperials here are to, or any Stormcloaks here to kill? Well, I have an Unbreakable Lockpick, which I'm actually thinking about either Legendary or just going into that Black Book and removing the perk. Because I, like, yeah, it's nice to not have to worry about Broken Lockpicks, but I also have over 99, and it kind of was a fun challenge. I mean, let me know what your guys' opinions on it are, because this is a novice. So it's like, it's mindless now. I don't even think about it. I don't even try to, like, try to get it because there's no point because it can't break. And I know there's an actual, like, I think it's a, one of the danger quests you can get an unbreakable lockpick. Which we'll do those eventually. We're just not really, a, our character's not in a spot where he wants to mess with danger yet. Eventually it will happen, though. Because we're going to do everything. Nice. Let's do But yeah, I just think this is so mindless. It's like... I had fun lockpicking. You no, know, it was frustrating sometimes. All right. It was fun. Easy. It's just so mindless now. Thanks. I thought I was going to rot in here. Complete, complete. So plan? We've got men at, um, on the outside. We're taking over the fort. Good. I think I already did that. Oh, yeah, we did. Report back to Hadvar. I was going to say. Why am I reporting to him? I guess he is higher up than me, though. Keep Great work. Get back and report that success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Keep your guard up. Let's go talk to General hey, watch Tolius. What's the plan? What's the plan? Talk to Hadvar. <laughs> this, 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 this. Wonder what it's like for those Thalmor now that they've been taken down a notch. Yeah, I don't like the wrong. Thalmor. They're the real enemy. But we're back at Castle Dower. We're going to get another promotion, then we're going to have to go take out another fort. Now that we have Winterhold, I can garrison some troops there until I'm ready to march on Windhelm. Okay. I have come to rely heavily upon you. It is only fitting that you join the upper echelon. <laughs> what I can I say? I am elevating you to the rank of Legate. Legate. On like Legate Rika. On Empire and myself. Please accept this gift along with your He's been giving me gifts and none of them have been good. What do we get this time? Steel armor. Sure would be a shame if I had dragon bone. What are my new orders, sir? Hurry over to our military camp tucked away in the reach. Alfred's been enjoying we got two more of these and then we can do wind. And soldier, you better help me win back Markarth or die trying. It was your brilliant strategy to give it over to the rebels. In the That's what I was going to say. Yes, so during the main quest line, we were trying to make a truce, a temporary truce in the Civil War because of the dragon problem. We had to take out Alduin, the world leader, which we did, but it was really Ulfric. He was being greedy, and he wanted to trade the Rift for Mark Arth, and there was no really other way to do it. There was some like kind of rip-offs, like I could have gave the um, uh, Mark Arth for like Winterhold or something like there was, but like the Rift for the Reach was the fairest trade. But yes, that was my idea. Yes, sir. For the Emperor. For the Emperor. Let's head over to the Reach Legion camp and see what fort we have to take out. You know lollygagging, buddy.
Let's go talk to Legged Ritka again, even though technically me and her are on the same level now. That's all I'm gonna say. Something to report? Reporting for duty. Your objective is Fort Sunguard. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I was gonna say that's not on my actual list in the game guide, but that's probably because it didn't account for my decision in the main quest line. The fort is as good as I ours. I could count on you, soldier. Let's go fort fight for Fort Sunguard. Which if I didn't do that, we probably would be doing one for the reach and st or for the um. I guess you maybe just don't have to do this one, or maybe we'll have to do one for the rift instead because we have to regain the rift. I don't know. Um. I don't know why I just locked out for a minute. I've already discovered this place. I'm going to take out most of them and we'll make a little like montage of it. That is almost all of them. We're down to 12%. It's literally just so much wasted potential in this. Oh, I'm actually going to die. I'll go for healing. I did healing hands Benor earlier. I honestly wasn't blocking. And also, this was a huge waste of potential for me. I spent all that time getting my one-handed up. And I should have been working on my archery. Because this would have been the perfect time to grind one-handed. Because literally, that's all I'm doing. And it would pretty it's pretty much impossible not impossible it would be very difficult to use archery in these and now that my 100's at 100 or my one handed is at 100 I'm just wasting like I should be using another weapon and my one hand is at 100 two hands at 100 and I don't really want a legendary any of them I want to just get everything to 100 so like really I should be using archery or magic here but this it just doesn't work good so I should have been using my archery before and my one-handed now, but I didn't think about it. And as soon as we're done with this quest line, we're going to re revert to archery. Um, I don't have my actual shield and my favorites. This will be the last video we use this shield on. Also, my two handed's at 100. I am wearing light armor now, but I'm going to go ahead and make... Uh, oh, shit, I'm killing the wrong people. I'm sorry. That was an accident completely. I didn't get a bounty, right? You're not mad at me? It was accident. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. But um, I'm going to make dragon scale light, um, light armor after this video as well. Just so we can continue to work on one handed. Ooh, we got a trophy. War hero. So they're technically done. That completed that. My guess is I have to go back to General Tolius, but it hasn't really said. I didn't even have to go inside. Is that my objective? Yeah, report to General Tolius. Well, let's go see what he has to say. And we're back. So much fun. I don't actually know how many forts we have left, because according to the game guide, I had three and I've done two, but that one wasn't even one of the lists one of the ones on my list. So that's just where I'm kind of confused. I guess it just, just depends on your decisions from the main quest line. It was important we reclaimed the Reach. Letting Alfred control the flow of silver was a mistake. One I'm glad we finally corrected. I agree. You've little time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering our final assault on Windhelm. Is this the finale? To our camp in East March. Ooh, okay. So this is the finale. Like I said, I, I'm guessing it's kind of going to be the same thing. We have to kill like 100 down to 0% of guards in Windhelm. Hopefully none of the actual civilians hey. die. I'm glad you're alive, Benor. Because you haven't always been alive. But I, I hope none of the actual Not civilians the die. But the guards are kind of just like NPCs. They're all NPCs. But you know what I mean. They're not like named no, actual NPCs. So I think we'll kill guards and then we're going to confront Ulfric for sure. Are we going to kill Ulfric? I don't know. Because it... Obviously, I would imagine that General Tolius will be able to go back to... Where he's from. Where What is the um, the capital called? 
Not Oblivion. Tamri. No. Tamri is like the continent. Where are the Imperials from? Like, what is the name of their home the country? Bless you. May the ground you walk quake. Wherever the Legion is from. Or wherever Oblivion took place. I never played Oblivion. But um, I've watched some videos on it. Maybe we'll play it one day, but not right now. But he's going to go back to, like, the country where the Legion is actually from. That's going to really bother me. I was looking for was Cyrodiil. So I would imagine we're going to do this and then the war will be over. Are we going to kill Ulfric? Are we going to throw him in jail? Make him sign a treaty? I don't know. Um, obviously, I would imagine Elisif will become High Queen. And like I said, General Tolius won't really need to be here anymore. He literally came here just to help with this war. So I would imagine he's going to go back to Cyrodiil. And I, I don't know how. Like, I've expressed my opinion on this in several videos. I understand why the Stormcloaks started the war. Because it was pretty much like, hey, like you can't believe in your religion. And, you know, I want, I, I think anyone can believe in whatever they want to believe in as long as they're not hurting anybody. If you're killing people or whatever, different. But any religion, like whether, like in real life, whatever religion people want to believe in, I don't care. Right? Let them do what they want. And, and that's how I feel. So I do understand why the Stormcloaks are mad because they... The Empire signed the White Gold Concordat, which banned the worship of Talos, which is essentially like God or, you know, whatever. It's the, one of the more popular religions in Skyrim. And they stopped the worship of it. They banned it. So I can see why the Stormcloaks are upset. They just approached it in the wrong way. So I, I definitely see both sides. And, I, and Ulfric actually i believe used to be a part of the imperial legion and he was actually a really powerful soldier so i can see why um no i can see why he's upset and i and you got to respect him a little bit for standing up for what he believes in but he's racist like he's not a great person plus he murdered high king toreg which is interesting because I remember we back in like probably like episode 11 or 12. I don't remember the exact number. We met J um, Torek in Sovngarde. And I believe Torek said in my in his exact words. And you can go back and watch the video. Um, which some backstory. In the world of Skyrim, you have to... If someone challenges you to a battle, you have to do it to keep your honor to go to Sovngarde. Kind of like with Vikings and Valhalla. It's just um, like what you have to do. And he says, I kept my honor. Can Ulfric say the same? So he's pretty much implying like he kept his honor, but was Ulfric honorable? I don't know. That's up for debate, I guess. It's um, long since I killed the storm Yeah. The one thing I'm going to say before we actually finish this off is I don't think either side is the right answer. I think the real enemy in Skyrim is the Thalmor. And we're not going to have any like resolution. Because ultimately, if the Stormcloaks and the Imperials could come together... And decide, hey, like, let's go take out the Thalmor. The people of Skyrim win. The country of Skyrim wins. And that's what I would love to happen, but that's not an option. And we honestly don't really know what happens, like, with the Thalmor. Do they eventually come into Skyrim and wipe out everyone and, you know, take this as their own country? We don't know. And hopefully in Elder Scrolls 6, like, I don't think we'll be playing, like, in Skyrim, obviously. But I hope, like, we have some kind of resolution. Like, whether, even if it's in a book. Like, hey, this is what happened to Skyrim. I don't know. But that's what I want to happen. And I understand the real enemy is the Thalmor. And I hope you guys agree with me. If you don't, you're, it's your opinion. It's okay. Something to report? Like it, Ritka, you look like you need some sleep. The general and I have our Reporting for duty. Your objective is the enemy-held fort. Meet the soldiers. Oh, we have another the fort. Then I thought we were going into Windhelm. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? The fort is as good as ours. I'm going to go take out the fort. I thought we were actually taking out Windhelm. But we are taking out Fort Amel now, so... I'm going to go take it out, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, looks like that's it. We regained East March. We completed it. Battle for Fort Amel is done. Our next quest is... I actually don't know. There's a couple of people still fighting. I honestly could care less. Where does it want me to go? Back to Solitude? No. 
over here. Oh, back to the camp. I can't right now, but I'll see you guys when we're there. Back at the camp, a very underwhelming story. Like, I feel like there could be like hundreds of soldiers here and like all cheering, ready for battle. I do know this game is 13 years Good old though. Job. I knew I gave the mission yeah. to the right person. Wild man. Reporting in. We're taking the city. Damn right. Yeah. Battle for Windhelm. I wonder if we're actually gonna kill Ulfric. I don't know. And if it's the other way around, do you kill Legate and General Tolius and Ellis? Suffer waiting. I don't know. Where are we reporting to? Right here. Did I mess something up? We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it! Where? Damn storm cloud. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I fast traveled away, came back, waited time. Maybe we can just show up at Windhelm and just see what happens. Where is Windhelm at? Oh, it's actually not on the map right now. We probably can't go there right now, which kind of makes sense. Let's remove the marker. Let's just go to the stables. I honestly don't know what we're supposed to do. Like, it's not updating my quest marker. What's going on here, though? You can definitely tell there's some kind of battle going on. But I just don't... Like, it's not telling me what I'm supposed to do. Like, honestly. I'm going to load back, I guess. How far away was this one? That would have been after I talked to her, though, so it's... I don't know if that's going to fix anything. We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it! Are you gathering for the attack? I don't know how to fix this, but I'm going to figure it out. Okay, so I'm stupid. Again. I couldn't get the quest this morning. Like, she's not giving me the quest. I even... I'm in... I was just in Castle Dower, and... General said nothing. He was holding his sword out, but he wasn't saying anything like it was helpful. And I was like, okay, really, I don't have any options to load back. Because these three were recently, and this was like two forts ago. So that's been a while. So I was like, I don't want to do that. And then I went into this, and then I'm just at the wrong spot. I'm just a dummy. I just need to go up to the gate, I guess. I, was like, I don't know. It's weird that there's always like two quests. But I guess up here. I was here, I just didn't see him. But this is where we gotta go. Is General here too? Which is weird because he had his sword out and he was in Castle Dower. But I guess he's here. All right. Look at the subtitles. So he got pointed out in the comments and it's funny. You have all fought bravely and sacrificed much to bring us to this point. Yeah! But we will fight our way in and drag him out through the rubble to face justice. Because this is the end for them. The Stormcloaks will fight like cornered rats. They will be fierce and crafty. Let's do it, man. Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah, you're right. That's funny. I never noticed it. Warriors in Tamriel. Professional soldiers. Fearless and devastating. And Benor. The Emperor will be paying close attention to what happens here today. Yes, he will. Who distinguish themselves will be well rewarded. Ready now. Everyone with me. For the Legion, for the Empire. What is my actual objective? Nothing. I didn't see what that said, but we're going to see when we get through it. Force Ulfric to surrender. Is that Legget? Well, luckily, I probably know where Ulfric's going to be at. I don't just want to rush for him, though. We'll just kind of work our way up. But if we pass any Stormcloaks, we will definitely... Um... Maybe he's not in there. Interesting. I don't know how we get access to him then. Is there a certain way we have to go? I guess you gotta go through town this way. Excuse me. This is where that chick died on the blood on the ice quest. Feels like forever ago, but it was just, I guess it was like a month, maybe a month and a half ago. 
But we solved that murder. The Hashling Slasher. Actually, his name was The Butcher, but we got in there. We got his ass. Thought I just killed one of my own again. Don't tell Tolius, man. I don't know fully how I get to the palace. But I guess you just kind of work your way around. Are you scared, buddy? Probably should be. Okay, so there's a way in up here, I guess. Can I get in there? Oh, yeah. And then we're going to be right... Oh, you guys are bad guys. I don't know why I ran past you. Ah. Are you to the last stand? I don't necessarily want to kill Ulfric because I think he's very valuable to Skyrim and he could help us defeat the Thalmor who's the bigger enemy. But the Imperials obviously aren't going to face the Thalmor because they know we would get crippled. Ah. Ah. Maybe. You guys are blocking way too much. Thank you, Leggett. Let's just go in here and see what happens. Palace of the Kings. This is the moment. Secure the Already done, sir. Oh, for let's talk about a peace treaty. Oh, Frick Stormcloak. You are guilty of insurrection, murder of imperial citizens. The assassination I think he's still very King valuable, King though. And high treason against the Empire. It's over. But I understand why we would want to throw him in prison and try him and probably get him killed. So I guess I got to talk to him? Yes. Make it quick. And Helgen, you, you said you shot him. <laughs> Just a casual conversation. Why are you fighting this war? Why did you kill a High King? So none of that's useful. What is my objective? Yeah. Speak with Ulfric. He's expecting word from White Run. <laughs> okay. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. He's still expecting stuff from White Run. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying empire. Skyrim doesn't belong. That more's worse. Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough. Damn. You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution. I feel like the Imperials traded on Skyrim as well, though. Execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? I'll enjoy killing you. I don't want them to kill. Okay, let me just take out you first. Galamos. So he's pretty much like the legate of the. I didn't mean to hurt you, lady. He's kind of like the Legate Ritka of the um, Stormcloaks. Take his armor. Oh, frick, I'm sorry, buddy. That's what he did to Toreg. That's what he did to Toreg, that's for sure. I want to at least finish him off, dude. Ah! Oh. Well, Alfric, you can't escape from me this time. Any last requests before I send you Let's kill him. To wherever you people go when you die. You already know it's Sovngarde, bro. Sovngarde, sir. Right. Well, he's not in the Nord the culture. Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not? Can we I spare him? Um, I've had my fair share of killing today. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. I'll gladly kill him. Here. I don't think we have the option. A Daedric sword, sword of vampire. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. A uh, hell of a sword. Let's see what it does. And it wants me to use his sword. Badass sword, that's for sure. Ulfric, I'm sorry. I know you meant well, but you're a racist scumbag. Talos be with you. What was that, Liggett? Nothing. Talos be with Just you. saying goodbye. Well... The men will be expecting some kind of speech. Completes and it. We'll need See, to she still believes in Talos. The Thalmor are the enemies. Runwolf, yes. Ulfric's clothes? I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. So they're bringing in, in a new Jarl. Quickly, if we are to prevent more violence. 
The Legion. Oh, and Leggett. It's been an honor to have you at my side. Thank you. A token of my appreciation. I want you to keep my sword. Hmm? Will you return to Citadel now? No. I suspect Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold or understand these. <laughs> it's winter stories. for me right now. But I've this week it's gonna be negative now. one Fahrenheit. The harshness of Skyrim, which is like a way of negative a probably ten Celsius. Maybe negative five Celsius. Is there anything further I can do for the Legion? Ulfric is dead and his army destroyed. There's not much more I could ask of you. The gods, however, I suspect, may have plans for you elsewhere. That said, Stormcloak true believers are still operating out of hidden military camps in the hills. If you encounter any on your travels, kill them. With luck, they'll soon lose heart and return to their homes and families. Hopefully. If not, we'll be forced to put them all to the sword. So there's nothing else we can do for the Civil War. That wraps this quest line. There's still a couple of things we're going to do in this video, though. And like I said, the next video we're going to be starting a new set of side quests. And then in a few episodes, we're going to be starting a new quest line. Let's go listen to this speech, and then we actually have to become the Thane in two cities. Has an announcement. The rebellion is over. Ulfric Stormcloak is dead. <laughs> Thanks to my Daedric Sword. Do you like my sword, sword, if sword, my Daedric sword, sword? It will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and okay. faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and Hell compensation yeah. to the widows of your fallen comrades. Ah. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. There's nothing else we can technically do for the Imperials, for the Legion, or for the Civil War in general. I would imagine the city's eventually going to go back to itself, but as you guys know, before these three Civil War episodes, we were working on doing all the side quests in every single city. And we did most of them, we didn't do all of them, and we became the Thane in seven of the nine holds. The two we didn't is Windhelm, because you either had to become a, Stor or become a Stormcloak or capture Windhelm. We've done that, so we should be able to become the Thane and by the house in this city. And also Dawnstar, you also had to either become a uh, Stormcloak or become an Imperial and take over Dawnstar. So, we're going to become the Thane in those two holds. I'm going to go to Dawnstar first just because there's a lot happening in this city. Let's become the Thane. Can I fast travel now? Well, I'll see you in Dawnstar, we're gonna become the Thane. Damn it. Why can't Ulfric see he's tearing Skyrim to pieces? Well, is he's dead? We should. Yes. So a lot of the cities will have new Jarls. With either side of the Civil War, a Jarl gets replaced every time a city is captured. Kinda of like Maven has been the Jarl in Riften for some time since the main quest line. Because it wasn't her originally, Imperials took control, and now she is. So this is somebody new than we had when we did the Dawnstar side quests. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. Is there anything uh, um, you need, my there Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thing. We couldn't it's do this before. Title mainly, but there are a few perks someone. We However, already know this is I'll our eighth Thane. And I'll make you my Thane. I'd be an honor. Would We've already helped her people, I think. Yeah, I've helped her people. By my I grant you. I'll also notify my guards of your new So we could technically buy land here. We will with Hearthfire, but not in this video. So now let's go talk to the new Jarl of Windhelm. That's our guy. I can care less Gregory or whatever your name was. Let's go to Windhelm, see if we can become the Jarl, and we can buy a house there now. Back to normal, which I like. I didn't want the cities to be destroyed or whatever. There would obviously be more damage than this, and the people seem relatively happy. I wonder if they actually like say anything like... Which this guy is part of the blades. We've seen one of those guys in the previous video. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. What do you need? 
Yeah, my father says we need to just get on. I love yeah, no one's really talking about it, which yeah, kind of weird. Yeah. But let's go see if we can't talk to the yarl, become the thane here, buy the house here, and end this video. So much waste of potential on this quest line. So this is a bunch of old yarls here now. <laughs> I hope the wilds claim you one of these days. Just a dead old frick. Could have been you guys. So, which Unless one's the actual Jarl of this city? Problem. I don't need you. Silver blood, you're corrupt, bro. My brother tells me you've done us a service. Kinda. Thank you. You have something to say. Is it this guy over here? Oh, he's here now. Your mind? Hello, good sir. You're now in charge. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase. We could not do that winter. before. Talk to my steward if you're interested. My Yarl, is there anything else I can do for you? There is room in my Hopefully you're not racist. Fame. It's an honorary title mainly. But the, however, you help my people. I'd be, it'd be an honor. We've already honor done it. Will be mine. Now we're the Thane in all nine cities. Purchase a, uh, and you have to purchase house Save to become a Thane. Sword, I don't brother. like talking to someone. 12,000? And we're going to fully upgrade it. Wonderful. I just spent probably upwards of 20 gold, tw not 20, that'd be nice, 20,000 gold. The last option is clean up that murder mess. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. I'll take it. Is there anything else you'd like That's to all purchase? of it. So now we should be able to, I've helped the people you asked. Then by my right as Jarl. I don't care what you have to say, but we're now the I'll Thane in all nine holds. I'm guessing our guy is going to be here. Let's go check out our home though. Can I mark it? This is the fifth and final player home in vanilla Skyrim. There's technically the three hearth fires. We also have the one in Solstheim already. So this is technically our sixth house. Um, we're going to do hearth fire eventually. And there's also a bunch in the creation club we will check out eventually as well. Well, let's go check out this home and then we can wrap up this video. We've actually been in this house before. Back when we did the blood on the ice quest, we had to go in here and it was completely empty. And there was obviously a huge murder mess. And it was a big part of the blood on the ice quest. Oh, that's our guy. Like I said, I, I still prefer the Breeze home because I prefer uh, Whiterun as a city. I like to go in there. I can sell to the two blacksmiths. There's Yorlin to sell to. There's Farangar. There's the Alchemist Lady. There's Bellathor. So many shops that I can sell stuff to because sometimes I have to sell and sometimes I do the, you know, hit, quick save, or look, quick save, hit, load. I do that a lot too when selling stuff. But I also like the Breeze home because it's small. I have a system. I know where... I put like my unique swords and my unique armor and my unique potions and food. I have a spot where I keep arrows and the breeze home. I have a system of organization. So I'm going to keep keeping my stuff in the breeze home and I prefer white run as a city. I like seeing Lydia. So we're not moving into any of these houses, but they are, it's a nice house and maybe it would be for you. It's just not for me. I have the children's bedroom if we wanted to adopt, which we will eventually, but we're probably just going to move them into the hearth fire house. Like that. Is there still a hidden panel here? Yes, there is. I'll take all of the ingredients, please. I will take those. Let's go crazy. I'll take all of those, please. The one, one thing I will take. But we have a lot of like weapon racks and bookshelves and a lot of stuff I probably would utilize if we um actually lived here. But I just the breeze home is small. But I like it. It's just, it's nice, peaceful, and it's just, I have a system in place there. Plus, I love white run. So there's some mannequins you could wear. Like, if I wanted to, I'm sure I could throw one of these on here. We'll keep that there. The other one I'll put in my house in. No helmet? Well, there is a helmet. It's just not showing up. There's another one over there. Like, it's basic stuff like this. This looks like... This is um, our bed? No, this is our bedroom. That's probably the house Carl's bedroom. So, like, nothing too crazy here. It's a nice home. I just prefer the Breeze home. And like I've said numerous times, I think the Civil War wasted potential. Cool concept and honestly very important in the story of Skyrim. Very, very important. But it's wasted potential. The Thalmor are the real enemy and this just wasn't that fun. Like, I just don't think it was. 
thank you guys though i'll see you in the next episode where we're going to be doing some side quests and then tackling hearthfire and then in probably four maybe five videos we're going to be starting the next quest line thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye